Dramasaurus. Sorry I haven't seen you guys in so long. I have really no excuse for weeks three and week two ago, but last week I filmed the video and then my memory card decided to delete it into oblivion, so I didn't have time because I was working in a movie theater. Thanks movie theater for ruining movie week. But anyways, I am back and you're going to get a video this week and next week because I'm making both today because I am leaving the country for 11 days to go to Disneyland and I'm so excited. Ah! I love Disney. I think I've said that in my facts video. So this week is Friday the 13th, this Friday coming up, so we're doing Scary Story Week. I don't really have any personal ones because my life is kind of a scary story. I am afraid of everything. So basically every single waking moment in my life is a scary story. So I'm going to tell you my favorite one that I've read online from creepypasta.com, which is really scary. If you're afraid of everything, don't watch horror movies or read horror books or read scary stories online or look at scary pictures because it doesn't help. For some reason I still do it. Sorry. Also, P.S. really bad at telling stories. So this man went to a hotel, and he checked in, and the guy at the front desk said, uh, you're going to pass a room on the way to your room, don't bother looking into it, don't do anything, don't knock on the door, don't make a lot of noise, don't disturb them. It says, do not disturb, follow that sign. So he's like, okay. But then, obviously, curiosity gets to everyone, so he decided to look through the people. And he looks into the room, and he sees this empty room, except there's a girl standing in the corner, and it's the back of him, and she has almost white hair, because it's so blonde, and she's wearing a white dress, and it's his her back is facing towards him, so he can't see a face or anything, you know? So he's like, okay, she probably lives here, she's probably like it's the daughter of the owner or something, and she just likes her privacy. Cool. So then the next day, he was curious again, so he looked in, and all he saw was the color of red. So he's like, oh, she must have blocked the thing. Like, she saw me looking through the peephole. She blocked it off. Cool. So then he's checking out, and he goes to the front desk, and he's like, hey, so I'm really sorry, but I looked into the room. This is what I saw. I'm sorry if I disturbed them, if they caught me and they blocked it. I'm so sorry. Blah, blah, blah. And he was like, well, I suppose since you've already looked, I can tell you the story. So he tells him basically what happened is that there was a girl who was staying in that room and she died. But when she died, she became a ghost and her whole body turned white, except her eyes turned pure red. Ding, chills once it clicks. That story, when I first read it, I was like, okay. And then I was like, <gasps> there's a fluff. Um, But now I tell that story every time someone's like, tell a scary story, because I actually think it's a good one. It's not just like, there was a ghost and he killed a lot of people and it was scary. It actually, like, that second where you realize just sends chills, and I really like that. Well, that's all for this week, Dramasaurus. I hope you enjoyed my terrifying story that wasn't that terrifying. Um, if you enjoyed, subscribe, like, comment, tell me your scariest story you've ever heard down below. Try to beat mine. Good luck. Just kidding. All my links are below, and if you want to check out my main channel, you can. I haven't made a lot of videos because I'm super busy. But there might be some traveling stuff. There will definitely be one traveling video from California on this channel. And then there might be some more coming up there in about two weeks when I get back. So I hope to see you guys next week. And enjoy! Stump, stump, I'll be right. Drop the beat, nasty face while you're looking at me. Flying, 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 flying through the sky. I should just not cut this. This is quality on point. Stop looking at yourself. Okay.